Hey guys, Mikas here for your live electronic music tutorial tip. So 289, yes guys, this is 289 episode of me making music in real time. What I really want to show to you guys is the creative process and how to input ideas and to really get to build ideas that you can use into making a track a little bit later. A lot of people say you don't go enough into details, like what, what I want to show you guys is how to be creative and I think this is the most important, you have to start making track as much as you can to hopefully output one that you will really love, that you want to finish and things like that guys. So, it's episode 289, I'm gonna make some progressive house, 128 BPM, get a bit of an idea, get a synth, I get some drums laid, laid in already, and basically my main idea for this track is to have multiple layers of bass. I have one, like it's a bass pad that's constant, it's got a bit of oscillation in it, I think it's a very interesting point to start. Then I'm gonna add some plucky bass and maybe even a rolling bass on top and some synth and you know, I'm gonna build like a, if you know me, a melodic prog house. I'm gonna call it melodic techno because I don't really like what is melodic techno right now. It's becoming like a big commercial kind of everything. This is melodic techno. Anyway, guys, this is gonna be prog house. It's gonna be rolly. It's gonna be energetic. It will be melodic. And guys, if this is your first time watching every single episode that I do, I turn into templates for Logic Works, Ableton FL Studio. Yes, guys, I need to make a living, so I sell templates. Check it out at WeMakeDanceMusic.com in the link below there's going to be a link to this template so what you hear right now is the result of this episode which i finished so you can hear it and then you know what i'm going to work on element by element i try to explain as much as i can guys but of course if you get the template you really get to understand and master all the sounds let's get started guys this is 289 so the main idea and yes guys it's echo in here because I know the room is done, but I definitely need to do a bit more of acoustics on the walls there, here and there. It's a big room, so. Mm. I was coffee. So the idea is got the idea guy is this. Well basically one cent and you know I'm gonna open it for you. I'm gonna start straight away like go into an automation with it so i see a lot of people producing music and they don't seem to be using automation and it's, it's a pity because automations are like essential to making like really things happen in music i mean you can use instruments and stuff but if you use instrument plus automation you're, you're really getting onto another level so go here put it to touch here open the filter here and record at the same time. Then on Logic, you push A, so you go into your automation here, put it to read, and then you look at what you, we just recorded, cut off. Then I can automate it with different curves. I'm a kind of a linear kind of guy. So I don't want to open it too much. I don't want to make it like a big kind of phase thing. Like it was like, wow, I just want more variation, so it, it flows, so it's not always the same thing, it's not constant. Then, there's definitely quite a bit of bass in there, of course, so I'm gonna put a side chain on it right away. I think it's important to control the sound, make it pumpy. Instrument, take the kick. Fast attack, fast release for me, at least I like it like this. Then we're gonna pop it a little bit more. You can hear it there. See in the graph? I'm not even touching or barely touching the waveform here. But you can heal, you can really feel the effect of it. So with the little animation and the side chain, we already have something. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replicate my channel. Take this key here and I'm gonna do a few plucks, I think in there. Where is an interesting question? So uh, this different pattern that I use to do kind of prog housey kind of thing. So I'm gonna remove the automation here. Alchemy again, and I'm gonna go into like some, I like to use the very basic kind of um, settings, you know, the basic program that everybody use, and then turn it into something in the track. There's a reason why, let's say this one, a little bit too low. I do like this, not exactly in this form factor, 
but like this, yeah. There's definitely a bit of mixing to do. I think this pad here is very loud. So, I, guys, I've been making music for 20 something years. I do believe I make quite, I mean, advanced music technically. Might not be for everyone, but I like to always kind of push the envelope. So, this idea with this, I hear this. So, okay, this is, this is, there's definitely something there. So, I'm gonna send it to a bus. And this send effect here, I'm gonna put a delay on it. Fairly simple, probably tape delay. I'm gonna send to the tape so you can hear it. So what I want to do is I want the delay, but I don't want the, the, I just want the slap to delay. I don't want, of course, the low end to delay because it's gonna take a lot of room in the mix. It's very important. So I'm gonna use the EQ, of course, to cut the feedback to have only the top. I can do that here. I could also do it here. I'd rather do it in the EQ. To me, it's always better. You can really go with the feedback like, bit mental, make some effect, but it's not the point now. Let's spread it. Ooh. See when it's mono? You can go in minus spread, so very mono. Very interesting too. I like the spread here. A bit more feedback. So I think with this type of techniques, I think this is where you can really kind of define your sound, you know, create like a style, create something particular that you can reuse in your track and say, hey, this is a Mika's track, you know, or this is like a Joseph track, or it is like somebody's track. It's important to define by using tricks. Yeah, I, I like it. I think it'll push it even further. You know, I like effects, guys. This is. It's been a long time I use effect, however, I think I didn't master it very well until recently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a reverb here. Where are the presets of the factory? Just a gated. Oh, I need the dry, sorry. So. Slap, you listen to this. Interesting with the slap. And I want to be even more a little bit kind of uh, coconut is. I'm gonna take this compressor here, put it after everything, and I'm also gonna sidechain the output of what we just done because I think it could be really cool. Again, fast attack, fast release. Four to one, or you can go harder than four to one. Threshold. So, so you can hear the slap, it's very, it's just. And if you don't really like this effect, now that you applied all the chain to it, you can go, okay, maybe I'm gonna go you can use that also to create an effect. Mm -hmm. I guess I like it like it was. So let's take this node bare without this channel, here. I mean, not much there really. 
And if we want to push it, we can go at the source of this sound and send something a bit more crazy. Because if I open this filter here, I'm going to send a lot more to the channel. Could even put some, some delay on the origin. I like it like that. That's how I think to exploit an idea to start working on something. So we have this, this base layer. You can also, of course, play with the sand. So it's just there. What I hear, I could be nice here, like I said, or like it's a bit of a rolly kind of bass line at the top of all this, you know, like kind of an RP rolly. Kind of bass, so we're gonna keep this. Maybe, maybe I bring it up, bring it up here, go into alchemy, drop this today, go into arp and, and put it on. Bring it. be cool. Need a bit more of a sequence. I'm gonna bring it all the way through. Could work. There. I'm gonna go in the ARP setting and drop a preset. Let's put it in the mix. Mm, something a bit groovier. Just a bit heavy. Oh, that's cool, not for this. I just want something randomized. Maybe not. Ramp up. Mm. I like that. Yeah, 15 minutes, we got another half, like half an hour, no, so half an hour, another 15 minutes for sure to build up this track. In a control A, name region by track, always good, color them a little bit, have a sip of coffee. So we have still only one key, because we're building up the ideas, not the time to do transition, to do changes, so just to build up the ideas still. I think we're up to a good start. I like the variation between this, these blocks, this like rolling bass line that's just climbing, and then of course our original here, which I can actually mute for fun. Definitely add some substance to the track. I'm going to drop it a little bit, just try to mix it a bit better. Now, I would definitely like to add a pad in there. There's a little compressor and a sand here, could be fun. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go into pad, I'm going to go into keys. Something, something open, something maybe glassy even. A 
course the effect that I did is still on here. We are turning enough for now. Oh, I think the ARP is on too. Feeling that very much. I'm gonna go into pad then, try to drop a. I have to say guys, I love doing those episodes. Having so much fun doing this. Definitely cannot say that I'm getting paid by YouTube to do these because uh, <coughs> YouTube is uh, not very generous, but... Oh yeah, this is getting like quite dark progressive-y, like I love it, so... And guys, if you want to check out my music, I have a problem now because I just changed the distributor and most of my music is offline and I have to take the time to put it back, but I don't have time, so it will, it will come. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another send here. I'm going to put like a big, big reverb on there. with my Grandiose Brazette here. I really want this to go like very wide. Now I'm gonna take my first kind of bit that I had here. And I would like to have Something more subby, something more like a really another bass layer, but like something really with a massive chunk to it. So I'm gonna go into bass. I'm gonna hopefully take something that will will will, will like have some low end low end to it. That does have some low end. Grit. It's a subby, it doesn't. And I mean, this chug to it, I, I like what it does in the sum of the mix, so I'll keep it. I would very much like to have an ARP. It's a simple chord to hopefully drop an ARP. I think I'm gonna be a bit too... 
too low to have an ARP on there, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go arpeggiated. I'm very fond of this really. Maybe if I put it an octave lower. Oh no, no, I don't want this at all. So I think now I'd like to do a bit of a key change. I think I have to do it really with all of the instrument at once because if not, it will not come very well. Not with this chord though. This, I don't really need to record change. The G doesn't work very well there. 
so I will undo it and I can keep those two keys here continue here I'm going to need to build a little bit more I think I would like some blocks in the back of this now Send it to that bus you created earlier. I think it sh should give a pretty trippy effect. Oh, yeah. Out. Oh yeah, definitely, yes. Oh, I did press the save button, sorry guys. It's logic save automatically, but I have this reflex from many years ago where I always had to save manually. It's kind of silly. This key change now is good. Again, this ARP, oof, not sold on this. It was uh, 1987. Computer music, this one. Oh no, in all. Sunset 1977. There's actually an ARP in there. I have to kind of divide it. Oh no, this is one sunrise, not sunset. I'm, I'm mixing things up. So we found just the ARP. Maybe a little bit of this. And the mix. The key changes make it much more aggressive because I go in E. But I like it. I think, guys, I know what's missing. This would not be an episode of your live electronic music tutorials without me jamming some leads. So we we're gonna have to record a lead. I'm gonna put myself a reverb here. The second bus here, I have a big reverb. I'm gonna go leads
guys need a lead or some kind of lead. I think it's, it's a paddy kind of lead. I think I, I kind of hit two keys at first, which made it quite mm. cool, I would say. City a little bit. This is a nice, it's a nice start for lead. I think I want to tweak it a little bit. I want to go a little bit deeper into the scent here. Look at the source, look at what we have. Try to change it a little bit. dig too much into this guys but I could really start making some super trippy song but it's not what it's about the idea is there I just want to push it a little bit further I think I'm just gonna use the controls here oh more unison I like to 
use this tune here as a modulation. Source to enforce. Send it to. Ooh, sequencer. sequencer. Send it to. Well, just I guess LFO2 here. And then I'm gonna go here into LFO2. Give it a sync rate, a slow sync rate. And then I'm gonna push it. A little bit very slightly forward. A bit much, I need very little. This is very, very little modulation. However, it has a very, very strong effect. I could make it more triangly, to have a more steady kind of. I can go a bit crazy too. none of what I am doing because you might be watching that and be oh my god what is happening there so basically I'm using this LFO to tweak this tune course here so basically the tuning is the pitch of the of the oscillator so I'm using the pitch of the oscillator I'm using this LFO to vary the pitch of the oscillator and then I can choose the speed of it so here and on top of it, I can put a delay on the start of this phase that I'm introducing. I can really make it very slow before it starts. I can also put more attack, the further attack, but I think, I think... I like it to come quite quickly, so there's not really need to put any delay on it. And then drop it to a very low. Two seem to be good. Okay, let's do this without. I think my computer is, is on fire because I just downloaded a bunch of stuff that's trying to install in the background. So without. Interesting, not quite as good as this. So guys, this is gonna be it for episode 289 of your live electronic music tutorials. Thanks for watching. If you got a second, smash that like button, come back often. I make a lot of those videos, guys. And until next time, may the sounds be with you.